what is going on guys and girls welcome to the agile core channel in this video we are going to discuss what are the roles and responsibilities of a scrum master what does a scrum master do this question can be asked in also a different way what is what do you do on a weekly basis in your team what are your roles and responsibilities let's get right to it what are the roles and responsibilities of a scrum master so as a scrum master the person who is serving in the capacity of a scrum master is responsible for many different things within the team he can be a mentor he can be a coach he can be a guide he can be a a person who is responsible for helping the team achieve their sprint goals but if we get to the nitty-gritty of it this is what a scrum master does uh, in a team the scrum master is responsible for facilitating all the scrum ceremonies like daily stand-up sprint planning backlog refinement sprint demo and sprint retrospective and we will this is part one of this video in the second part we will get deeper into how a scrum master facilitates all these ceremonies and what happens in these ceremonies but for now the scrum master is responsible for facilitating all scrum ceremonies from daily stand-up to sprint planning to backlog refinement to sprint demo to sprint retro other than that a scrum master is also responsible for facilitating dependency meetings between different teams, whether it is design development architecture different teams bringing them together to resolve dependencies and make sure all the teams from technical to product side to design side to testing side are on the same page along with that a scrum master is also responsible for maintaining transparency between the team and the stakeholders and this happens whether in the form of sprint demos after every sprint goal after every sprint and the sprint goal is achieved we conduct a sprint demo to show to the stakeholders what we have done in the sprint so far and a scrum master facilitates that meeting and makes sure that there is constant clarity between the stakeholders and the team members into what is being done so maintaining transparency between the team and the stakeholders a scrum master is also responsible for conflict resolution between team members if there is a conflict or friction between multiple team members a scrum master is responsible for having one-on-one -on -one with them and making sure that um, you know there is no conflict or no hard feelings between team members and these things uh, how a scrum master will identify there is a conflict it can come up during daily stand-ups it can come up during sprint retros uh, that's why the nurturing and the uh, the observing part of a scrum master role comes in a scrum master is also responsible for capacity management so basically you as a scrum master you know you track your team's capacity who is working how many hours you can create an excel sheet during before the sprint planning where the team members can fill their time and uh, they can fill the hours that they are working for the week and that way you track the capacity and you track uh, how many hours each person is working within the week and how does that equate to story points when the work is assigned to each person now the other thing that a scrum master is responsible for is tracking velocity how many how many stories are being completed within the sprint how many story points are being completed within the sprint tracking that and comparing that from uh, sprint to sprint uh, generally stakeholders and as uh, product owners and product officers they like the velocity to be con continuously increasing on a continuously increasing scale on a straight line up um, and uh, or or slowly increasing or stable but not going down nobody likes when velocity goes down and uh, there can be many many reasons why velocity goes down it can be uh, related to um, uh, backlog refinement is not proper the team doesn't have clarity on what they're supposed to do there is no proper definition of done uh, with every story they are doing uh, there is a, there is a lack of uh, understanding between the team members there is a lack of uh, dependency resolution is not happening properly and these things they come up in the retrospective these things uh, the retrospective is a ceremony where the scrum master facilitates the ceremony and it's uh, it's where the team members bring up what they could do better and these things should come up in the retrospective so velocity has to be going up if it's not going up or if it's not at least slowly going up or stable there are some things that are wrong that a scrum master needs to look at and analyze and do a diagnosis of what is not right here what is going on and uh, bring those up in the retro and make sure there is discussions around those topics and those things happen 
the next thing that a scrum master is responsible for is sprint burn down charts now sprint burn down charts are basically charts that are created to uh, to discuss the to show, showcase the progress of the sprint so from when a sprint starts the burn down chart is at its peak and then it goes down towards the end of the sprint uh, showing that all the work that was uh, promised in the sprint has been completed uh, so basically showing the progress of the sprint a sprint burn down chart it's automatically created in jira for you um, on in Jira dashboards, which is very simple to do. And again, in part three of this video, I will show how to do capacity management. I'll show Excel spreadsheet that I use to do capacity management. I will show how to track velocity, how you can do that in Excel, how you can create those charts in Excel uh, from Jira. And I'll show how to do sprint burn down charts, how you can create sprint burn down charts in Excel and Jira. And the last thing is sprint report. So basically what a sprint report is, it goes out to the stakeholders and what a sprint report does is it basically shows the progress in the sprint, how many stories were completed, uh, what was the sprint goal, did we reach that sprint goal? And it also shows the velocity of the team. It also shows um, uh, story points assigned to each person and uh, who completed how many story points um, and, and, and all those things. So basically, how many stories were completed, the velocity as compared to previous sprints, how many story points were promised, how many were completed, what was the rollover, how many th uh, task stories are being rolled over to the next sprint that were not completed in this sprint. And uh, so it shows all that. So it, show, it will show uh, your uh, sprint burn down chart, it will show your velocity chart, it will show your uh, sprint goal, uh, it will show your uh, stories completed, it will show your story points completed per person. That is what a sprint report will entail. Uh, it will also, it'll also show the, the, the the sprint goal that is reached if there is a release that happened what what that release was related to and what that release entailed so those are the things that are uh, that pop up in a sprint report so these are the different things that a scrum master is responsible for and uh, now to go over it again let's uh, go over it again scrum master is responsible for facilitating all scrum ceremonies from daily stand up to sprint planning to backlog refinement to sprint demo to sprint retro and after facilitating these ceremonies He's also he or she is also responsible for removing and managing dependencies between multiple teams, maintaining transparency between the team and the stakeholders, conflict resolution between team members, capacity management, tracking velocity, creating sprint burn down charts, and creating sprint reports for the stakeholders and the team in general. Those are the things that a Scrum Master is responsible for. Now, let's go through all the ceremonies. This is just a brief uh, idea of what a Scrum Master does during all the ceremonies. We will go into more depth into part two, and then in part three, we will go into more depth into how into more depth into how to create capacity charts, how to track velocity, create velocity charts, how to create sprint burn down charts, and how to create sprint reports. We will go into more depth in part three of this video.